Assalamu alaikum. As you grow up in a Muslim household and Islam is thrust upon you and as you are forced to make yourself believe that Allah is indeed real, there is one myth that you must make yourself accept. That myth is that you are part of this community of people, a nation, a tribe known as the Ummah of Muhammad. You are told that you are part of this Ummah where you have a brotherhood and everyone loves each other for the sake of Allah. All people and all Muslims are united in Islam. In fact, you are told that this unity of Muslims proves that Islam really is the true religion. Well, as you grow older and learn more about the world, you realize that no such Ummah actually exists. And as you learn even more, you realize this Ummah was never real. The map on the screen shows countries where Islam is the religion of the majority of people living within them. A map such as this gives the illusion of a united Ummah. However, this kind of a map is very misleading. A more accurate map would be this one. If you ignore the Sufis, the Ummah is extremely divided between what is known as the Shias and the Sunnis. The Shias and the Sunnis themselves are further divided into various factions. Now, the Ummah is supposed to be one entity, so please explain to me why this Ummah has been undergoing a never-ending civil war for 1400 years between Sunnis and Shias. Estimates show that between 10 and 30 percent of the Muslims are Shia, and Shias have been at war with the Sunnis and vice versa for 1400 years. Muslims like to complain about how America has been killing Muslims in Iraq. Tragic though this is, they are silent or do not know that most of the killing in the Iraq war were Sunnis and Shias butchering each other. Yes, most of the killing in Iraq was done by Sunnis and Shias on each other. And please don't try to make excuses for this fact by saying that it is all America's fault. America did not tell Shias and Sunnis to butcher each other and blow up each other's mosques and shrines. Also, I am completely against America's imperialist wars, so before you say anything about me being pro-American Zionist Hindu, you should know that I am against America's imperialism, and I think that the war in Iraq was a big mistake. This is just a few years ago too. The Shias in Iraq were being funded by Iran, and Sunnis were being funded by Saudi Arabia. If America had not been there to stop this butchering, people estimate that at least 200,000 more Muslims would have been killed at the hands of other Muslims. Look here on the screen where it shows how many Sunnis and Shias killed each other in the Iraq war. 100,000 Sunnis killed by Shias, 150,000 Shias killed by Sunnis. Again, next time you are complaining about America, remember that most killing in Iraq was Muslims killing each other, and yet again proving that the Ummah is not a real thing. And when push comes to shove, Muslims are not united at all. Saudi Arabia and Iran are bitter enemies, so much so that they fight over the name of the Persian Gulf. Saudi Arabians and other Arabs call it the Arabian Gulf, whereas Iranians call it the Persian Gulf. They hate each other so much that Saudi Arabia asked United States to attack Iran because of its nuclear program and even gave Israel authorization to use Saudi Arabian airspace to attack Iran. You have Turkey, the seat of the last Khalifa and the Ottoman Empire, which is killing the Sunni Kurds regularly. Why are Muslims obsessed with the tragedy in Palestine, but yet ignore much worse crimes done by Muslims to each other? The silence is deafening. Is it because ignoring a problem is easier than admitting that Islam has failed to deliver the goods that it keeps promising? Is it because if they started talking about these issues, the myth of the Ummah would be totally exposed and the hoax of Islam being any kind of solution completely debunked. Another example is the Iran-Iraq war during the 1980s where one to one and a half million Muslims killed each other. 
Where is the Ummah and the unity I keep hearing about? I would like to see it because it doesn't seem to exist. Now you might say, okay, this is just the present. In the past the Ummah was real and very united. And the current disunity of the Muslims is the Zionist Mossad or American CIA and all this conspiracy. Well, for these kinds of conspiracy theorists, I have an easy solution. Let's go back in time to the earliest Muslim community just 24 years after the death of Muhammad. This is the pristine community, the golden age and its beginnings. Well, how many Muslims know that just 24 years after Muhammad's death, Muslims were butchering each other? To completely expose the myth of the Ummah, this time it was Aisha, the mother of the believers, and Ali ibn Talib, the son-in-law of Muhammad, who went to war with each other. This war is known as the Battle of the Camel, and has resulted in the death of almost 20,000 Muslims. Which member of the CIA did that? Which Zionist was responsible for that? There was no such thing as an American back then. There was no such thing as a Zionist. The Ummah is not a real thing. It never was. Let's continue our journey and let's look at one of the Khalifas. These are supposed to be the best Muslims, the leader who know Islam and do the best for the Muslim community. Well, the Sunni Khalifa called Al-Mutawakkil just 200 years after Muhammad's death destroyed the shrine of the grandson of Muhammad because Shias consider him to be the third Imam. The tomb has since been rebuilt. The same Khalifa, Al-Mutawakkil, beheaded Shias in groups, buried them alive, or even placed them alive within the walls of government buildings still under constructions, so, you know, in order to kill them. Again, I ask you, where is this Ummah I keep hearing about, full of love and unity? Which CIA member made this Khalifa behave this way? And other Muslims clearly watched them do it, otherwise we wouldn't be hearing about it today. It would just be a rare event that everyone forgot. Muslims just sat back and let it happen. Because the Ummah is a fictional, you know, idea. It's not real. So, I hope you learned something in today's video. My intention in the video is to educate you about the fact that Islam is a lie, just like any other religion, and that if you want to build a better society, you have to first overthrow this man-made nonsense. Peace be unto you, my brother and sister, in humanity.